My question is, how do you reduce tension in the jaw? Whist. <laughs> Love this old English stuff. Okay. Uh, how, do you, uh, how do you reduce tension in the jaw with assuming the horizontal position rather than the vertical? In opera singing, we rely on the horizontal position with a relaxed jaw to facilitate the dampening of the larynx without tension. I'm going to repeat that. Belinda, our professional opera singer, says, In opera singing, we rely on the horizontal position with a relaxed jaw to facilitate dampening of the larynx without tension. I do utilize the horizontal position for enhanced projection into the mask. Aha, yes. But for legato, legato, uh, fancy voice lesson, talk Italian for uh, connectedness in your singing. Uh, uh, for legato, and to maintain the open throat position, it feels more challenging. Any suggestions? Thanks. Belinda, when I read your question, it sort of strikes me as, Robert, I noticed that in your program, you're advocating a horizontal orientation on the embouchure. Well, in fact, that's what I've been doing as a professional opera singer. I've seen this before. I've been taught this before by another good coach. I've realized its benefits. That's what I'm doing. In fact, I do it to reduce tension and to amplify the format, to amplify the vowels and the resonance. Well, okay, we're, I mean, we're in agreement here. <laughs> All right, and, but then um, I do utilize horizontal dot legato and to maintain, it feels, any questions, I do utilize the horizontal position for enhanced projection into the mask, but for legato and to maintain the open throat position, it feels more challenging. Um, Belinda, the horizontal position will always be a little bit more challenging. It's sort of um, if we it, it's sort of similar to singing narrow vowels will always be a little more challenging than singing the big, easy, lovely, resonant open vowels. Um, um, but because it's challenging, in my view, and what I would encourage you, especially as an experienced singer, to to uh, to do is is don't question it so much. Don't question its merits because it's challenging. As a matter of fact, because it's challenging, more likely it's it's an indicator that you're probably on the good path or you're on to something that has a resistance training sort of element to it or resistance training benefit to it. Like, okay, singing E's and O's and ERs and narrow vowels are difficult. They are for everybody. We all sort of know this. Does that mean you run away and retreat from it? No, no. You, 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 you face it head on and you work on them and you, you build the motor skills or the articulators to be able to shape those narrow valves and you find the sort of that sweet narrow, you know, that, the, that sweet spot of resonation for narrow valves, which can be difficult from time to time. Um, so horizontal lumbar sure, great, really imp actually impressed that you're aware of it and that you're doing that. If it's challenging, good, good. Keep doing it. Keep doing it because it's it's creating resistance. And I don't have all the answers, but something on the inside, the musculature, the motor skills, these sorts of things are um, getting stronger and getting more coordinated in part because you've committed yourself to the thing that's hard. Okay. The thing that's hard. What did John Kennedy say about going to the moon? It was just the, the best quote uh, years ago in the 60s before we went to the moon. He said something like, uh, We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. It's because it is hard. <laughs> because it is a challenge. I love that. I love that.
And I think that if you are um, serious about singing and you want to get great progress and you want to really truly get get tangible results, um, that is the sort of attitude that singers need. When it gets hard, when we're singing and training, when it gets hard or disappointing or um, uh, 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 frustrating, um, that's the moment that separates the boys from the men and the girls from the women when it comes to singing. Always being faced with a little bit more of a challenge, uh, you know, another song, another line, another note that's difficult, a narrow vowel that keeps grabbing you, uh, a little bit of choking here that you want to get to go away. This sort of experience never goes away for singers. So get used to it. It's what you signed up for, all right? And I say, it's part of the lifestyle. And I've learned this the hard way. I'm sure a lot of you guys have too. Over and over and over again. When I thought that I had a lot of answers or even all the answers, or I thought I was a pretty good singer, right about exactly when I thought that was when I had my ass handed to me, you know, and was humbled a little bit and realized, oh, you know, I've got more to learn. I've got more training to do. Yeah, a perfect example, I used to sort of kind of modify out of those narrow vowels all the time, most of the time. Not anymore so much. There are moments when you want to modify out of E, I, and um, U, and the R control vowels, the, the er, 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 and er. There, there, there are moments when you want to modify out of those from time to time, and there's, um, there's a, an artistic reason to do it. could be an artistic argument for modifying out of those vowels and distorting them from time to time. But these days for myself and my students, eight out of 10 times, stay put, commit to it. Um, the horizontal